good morning students good morning everyone how are you all i hope you all are fit and fine and healthy at your place so students today we are going to start with the lecture number 2 of the previous chapter the poem which i explained you what is a player so today we are going to start with the next lecture of this poem so let us proceed further fine so this is for class 4th and it is lesson number 4 which i have already told you poem what is a player what is a player fine we are asking a question so that's why we are putting a question mark after that so and it is the lecture number 2 it is the lecture number 2 lecture number 1 we have already done from your book together with essence from the book together with essence and the topics which we are going to cover are topics to be covered first is we will discuss the question answers we will discuss the question answers the number 2 is we will discuss the book exercise we will be discussing the book exercise then word smart then dictionary focus then third one is listen a while then it is talk a while then it is write a while these parts are in the book fine and these question answers you need to write it in your english fair notebook first we will discuss the question answers then book exercise we will discuss then the word smart then the dictionary focus then listen a while then talk a while then write a while fine these are the sub topics of book exercise so let us proceed further so question answers first is show what you know first question is read the following lines and answer the questions that follows so let us proceed the first line is what is the line on the basis of this line you have to answer the question a player is one who does not give up at the sight of defeat at the sight of defeat but learns from their mistakes and puts them beneath and puts them beneath i explained you this is the first line of the poem on the basis of this line you have to answer the questions a player is a one who does not give up at the sight of defeat but learns from their mistakes and puts them beneath apni galtiyon se seekhta hai aur use niche rakhta hai so let us proceed further with the question what is the question the first part of the question is what site is being talked about and what is a player not accepted to give up so let us see the answer what is the site being talked about the site of defeat we are talking about the site of defeat the player is not accepted to give up courage the player is not accepted to give up courage sahas himmat and the b part the question is what should a player react how should a player react to his or her mistakes fine how should he react a player should learn a player should learn from his or her mistake and try not to repeat them and try not to repeat them so these are the two questions which are based on the previous line which i showed you the first is what site is being taught about what is a player not accepted to give up so we are talking about the site of defeat we are talking about the site of defeat and the player is not accepted to give up courage himmat nahi haarta wo sahas himmat what should a player react to his or her mistake how should a player react to his or her mistake a player should learn from his or her mistakes and try not to repeat them ki usko unki apni galtiyon ko dobara na karne let us check the next line so the next line is a player is one who does not chicken out who does not chicken out who wants to be in the game when everything counts when everything counts this is the line so the first question which is based off on this line is what does chicken out mean i explained you in the poem also the answer is chicken out means to run away in defeat to run away in defeat so the next question is b part is what do you think counts while playing while playing what do you think the meaning of counts determination perseverance and team spirit counts while playing fine so what do you think 
काउंट्स काउंट्स क्या होते हैं खेलते समय इट इज डिटर्मिनेशन जो हमारी डिटर्मिनेशन होती है खेलने की पावर होती है परसीवरेंस परसीवरेंस मीन्स इट इज द परसीवरेंस मीन्स द एफर्ट्स द एफर्ट्स विच वी पुट टू अचीव समथिंग डिस्पाइट ऑफ फेलियर मतलब फेल नहीं हो रहा हमें उसे अचीव करना ही करना है द एफर्ट्स विच वी पुट टू अचीव समथिंग एंड द टीम स्पिरिट्स टीम स्पिरिट्स यू ऑल नो इट इज द स्पिरिट विच इज शोन बाय ऑल द मेम्बर्स ऑफ द टीम काउंट्स वाइल प्लेइंग एंड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज वॉट डज चिकन आउट मीन दिस ऑल्सो आई एक्सप्लेन यू चिकन आउट मीन्स टू रन अवे इन डिफीट डर जब आपको लग रहा है कि हम हार गए तो और हम भाग रहे हैं उससे to run away in defeat so the next is let us proceed further this is the b part and these are the question answers answer the following questions the first is what is the first question who is a true player who is a true player so the answer is a true player is a true player is one who never wins or complains unnecessarily और स्ट्राइव टू विन सो एक ट्रू प्लेयर एक सच्चा प्लेयर कौन होता है अ ट्रू प्लेयर इज अ वन हु नेवर वेन्स वो कभी कंप्लेन नहीं करता अननेसेसरली जब तक जरूरत नहीं है वो बिना मतलब के कोई कंप्लेन नहीं करता कोई शिकायत नहीं करता एंड ऑलवेज ट्राइव टू विन एंड ही ऑलवेज थिंक्स टू विन सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द सेकेंड वन द क्वेश्चन इज वट अज अ बजर साउंड वेन डज अ बजर साउंड इन अ गेम कब होता है बजर की आवाज कब आती है वट शुड बी द स्पिरिट ऑफ द प्लेयर वेन ही हेयर्स अ बजर और जब भी वो बजर सुनता है तो वो कैसे रिएक्ट करता है सो वट इज अ बजर द बजर सिग्नल्स द एंड ऑफ अ सेशन और अ फाउल सो हाउ अ प्लेयर रिएक्ट अ प्लेयर शुड not get disheartened or dips, depressed at the sound of the buzzer and finish off the session and the one should finish off the session gracefully so what do you mean by buzzer sound aap dekhte ho jab bhi game mein koi foul ho jata hai bahut tez ki awaaz aati hai buzz bahut tez ki different different sounds hain ye aur jab bhi kya hota hai गेम विन हो जाती है मीन्स गेम इज सॉरी गेम इज अबाउट टू फिनिश तो उस टाइम भी उससे पहले क्या होता है एक बजर दबता है तो उस बजर साउंड से प्लेयर को कैसे रिएक्ट नहीं करना चाहिए जब भी वो बजर साउंड सुनता है उसको डिसहार्टेड नहीं होना चाहिए डिप्रेस फील नहीं करना चाहिए एट द साउंड ऑफ द बजर एंड फिनिश ऑफ द सेशन ग्रेसफुली और पूरी गेम को बहुत ईजिली बहुत अच्छे से फिनिश करना चाहिए फाइन सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज let us proceed and this is the third question how important it is for the player to practice the game kitna zaruri hai game practice karna uske liye khelna it is important for the player to practice the game as it enhances skills and improves one's performance hum kyun game kis liye कैसे प्रैक्टिस करते हैं गेम किस लिए करते हैं बार 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 प्रैक्टिस इससे क्या होता है हमारी स्किल्स एनहैंस होती हैं इम्प्रूव होती हैं बढ़ती हैं एंड इम्प्रूव वन परफॉर्मेंस अगर जस्ट यू टेक एन एग्जांपल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू डू वन टॉपिक अगेन एंड अगेन द टॉपिक विच यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड यू विल डू द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ दैट सेम टॉपिक ऑन ईच डे देन वट विल हैपन यू विल बी परफेक्ट इन दैट you will improve your performance will be improved and others will appreciate you fine so how important it is for the player to practice the game it is important for the player to practice the game as it enhances skills it enhances skills and improves one's performance fine so the next question is this is question number 4 let us proceed what do sports teach us what do sports teach us so sports teach us to be strong sensible and strong willed and strong willed sports hame kya sikhate hain hame khel ko ki hame kaisa hona chahiye strong hona chahiye dimagdar hona chahiye and strong willed we are all we should always be 
willing to do the hard things so the next question this is the c part and c part let us see what you need to do find words from the poem that mean the same that means the same as given below as these are the words you need to find from the poem thinking thinking means pondering very easy next word is to complain to complain means vain w h i n e next word is it is under under means beneath niche bataya tha na maine aapko pehle bhi fourth word is wounded wounded means hurt wounded means hurt hurt ankles these were the words in the poem so these are the same words same means synonyms same means synonyms and opposite words they are called as antonyms so thinking means pondering complained vain under beneath wounded hurt next is word smart next is word smart fine this is from your book only so what is there it's very interesting these are the different kinds of activity different kinds of sports you will learn and you will enhance your knowledge also identify the icons of various sports and write the sports sports it is with the help of the clue box this is the clue box given let me explain you the sports given over here tennis you all know athletics also you know beach volleyball beach volleyball it's a, it is a volleyball game which is played on the beach handball handball also know you all know which we play with the help of hands shooting shooting also you all know in movies then trampoline what is this trampoline trampoline aapne dekha hoga aap kabhi mall mein jaate ho fine you all go to mall over there there is basically a big area of solid fiber on which the children jump and across those children around them there is a big net net ki help se net hota hai unke charo aur wo girte nahi hai niche and they used to jump on that then jump high then down then up then down that is known as trampoline boxing you all know then fencing what do you mean by fencing fencing is also basically the sports of fighting with swords talwar talwar se ladte hain do log fine according to the set of the rules there are basically rules for that then it is triathlon then badminton also you know then it is layak flat water layak and then flat water it is the one layak flat water layak flat water means there is it's a kind of a it's a place of a body it's a plates of place of a body of water place on a body of water matlab ek plastic ke form mein hoti hai jisme person person leta hai ya bat bhi sakta hai aur wo sea water ke upar hum usse चप्पू से घुमाते हैं उसे आपने कभी देखा हो तो फाइन एंड इट इट मूव्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ विंड वेव्स एंड करंट्स द नेक्स्ट इज वॉलीबॉल यू ऑल नो जिम्नास्टिक भी पता है आपको हॉकी भी देखा है आपने आर्टिस्टिक जिम्नास्टिक भी आपने देखा है फाइन अब देखो यहाँ पे सिंबल्स हैं आपको बताना है मुझे इसका किसका आंसर कौन सा है फाइन दीज आर दिफ्टीन सिम्बल्स एंड यू नीड टू टेल मी द आंसर ऑफ दीज <clears throat> so let us start so what is first first is athletics it is athletics you all can see then the second one is badminton you can see the racket in the person's hand it is badminton then this is beach it's a beach and it's a volleyball the person is playing beach volleyball on a beach then it is boxing you all can see with the help of hand then again it's a gymnastic you can see the position of this person then the next is again volleyball you can see the ball in her person's hand then it is hockey you can see the hockey stick over here then it is kayak flat water it is kayak flat water you can see this is known as chappu in hindi and the person is on the body the person's body is on the water fine next is triathlon triathlon also you all can see and it is shooting shooting you all can see how the person is doing shooting with the help of a gun tennis also then it is after tennis it is trampoline trampoline this is a basically a fabric place and the person is on it and he is jumping 
then after that fencing fencing this is a sword this is a sword with the help of which the person is playing then after that we have number 14 is it is handball you can see the ball in the person's hand then the fifth is it is artist artistic gymnastic artistic gymnastic is done with the help of any object <coughs> sorry fine so let us proceed further this is all about the sports games so you can see the answers over here now so the first i have already told you athletics second i have told you badminton and the third one is beach volleyball and the fourth one is boxing and the fifth fifth one is gymnastics and the sixth one is volleyball and the seventh one is hockey which i have told you and the eighth one is kayak flat water and the ninth one is given on the next slide you can look over here the ninth one the ninth one is trithnan tenth is shooting and after that there is tennis then it is trampoline then it is fencing then it is handball after that there is hand after handball it is artistic gymnastic fine so this is all about word smart with the help of these word smart these 15 different sports you might have learned you might, your knowledge has been enhanced fine you have learned different kinds of sports activities you which you might not be aware of so next is dictionary focus it's very interesting this is dictionary focus and it is given in your book only the book exercise first of all you need to understand what you have to do in this dictionary focus use the information given in the box this is basically a box you have to use this information then answers the question given below this is the question what definition should be used in the sentence below this is the sentence Keep in mind what your laughter hurts no one. Keep in mind that your laughter hurts no one. Fine. Now you have to use in box mein se use karna hai mind. Mind ko hum kya bolte Feel concerned about. Verb. Verb kya hoti hai? It's a doing word. And noun is a some name. Ability to think. Mind. What a mind does? Uske andar kya hai? Ek ability hai sochne ki. और माइंड क्या करता है कंसर्न करता है ना कंसंट्रेशन करता है किसी भी चीज के लिए सो so, हमारे पास सेंटेंस है कीप इन माइंड दैट योर लाफ्टर हर्ट्स नो वन सेंटेंस के लिए क्या करेक्ट डेफिनेशन होगी फर्स्ट होगी या सेकंड होगी विल इट बी फर्स्ट और सेकंड कीप इन माइंड दैट योर लाफ्टर हर्ट्स नो वन कीप इन माइंड मींस यू नीड टू कंसंट्रेट यू शुड बी कंसर्नड about the person you should be concerned about the statement which you will speak that your statement should not hurt anyone so the correct answer will be a part next is this is again the box given coat there are the two meanings of word coat first is body of people presided over by the judge this is the noun aapne dekha hai coat hota hai isme judge baithte hain aap sab gaye hoge it is a playing area. Aapne dekha hai? Football mein court hota hai na? So the sentence is the court found the man guilty. Guilty means sharminda. So which is the correct? It is A part again. The person kaha pe hoga? Body of people presided over by the judge. Fine. So the answer is first one. Let us proceed next. Third number is change. Change do type ke hote hain. That there are two meanings for change. To become different. Badal jana. Change ho jana. Money given in exchange. Jab chillad dete hai na. Khulle paise. To usko kya bolte hain? Change. So what is the correct definition? Give me a handful of loose change. Handful. Complete hand. Means. Khulle paise maang rahe hain. Loose change. So first will be or second. It will be second. Money given in exchange. Fine. Next is pitcher. This pitcher also has two meanings. First is the container that holds liquid. Person who throws the baseball to the batter. Fine. So these are the two different meanings. So now you look over here. The pitcher made an attempt to drag the ball. The pitcher made an attempt to drag the ball. 
उससे क्या हुआ बॉल को ड्रैग करा हिलाया खींचा दिस विल बी द सेकेंड वन पर्सन हु थ्रोज द बेस बॉल टू द बेटर फाइन यू कैन सी ओवर हेयर द पर्सन इज थ्रोइंग द बेस बॉल एंड अनदर वन विल ड्रैग इट सो द करेक्ट मीनिंग इज दिस पिक्चर पिक्चर्स इट्स बी पार्ट लेट एस प्रोसीड नेक्स्ट दिस इज ओवर हेयर हाँ सो यू हैव टू फ्रेम द सेंटेंस इज ऑल्सो ऑफ लेफ्ट आउट वर्ड्स सेंटेंसेज विद लेफ्ट आउट डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट वॉज बी कैन यू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन माइंड दिस इज द वन इन सेकेंड विच वॉज लेफ्ट वॉज द प्लेयर्स टुक देयर पोजिशन द प्लेयर्स टुक देयर पोजिशन द कोट इन द कोट फाइन ये दो वर्ड्स रह गए थे जिनके सेंटेंसेज वहां पर नहीं दिए थे तो आपने यहाँ पे सेंटेंसेस फ्रेम कर लिए फर्स्ट इज माइंड कैन यू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन माइंड इन देर वॉज अ वर्ड कोट द प्लेयर्स टुक देयर पोजिशन इन द कोट सेकेंड इज थर्ड सॉरी थर्ड नंबर इज यू हैव चेंज्ड अ लॉट बदल जाना डिफरेंट सिंस यू केम फ्रॉम द यू एस फाइन द फोर्थ सेंटेंस विच वॉज लेफ्ट इज द क्रो सो अ लिटल वॉटर इन द पिक्चर द क्रो सो अ लिटल वॉटर इन द पिक्चर यू माइट हैव हर्ड अबाउट द स्टोरी द थर्स ट्री क्रो ओवर देयर देयर इज अ पिक्चर जिसको हम पॉट भी बोलते हैं फाइन so now what is the next it's a listen a while so it's a poem basically it's a poem and it is not given in your book this poem is not given in your book and i am going to read this poem for you listen to your the recording of your class teacher complete the lines as you hear the poem this poem is basically not given in your book these two paragraphs three four four paragraphs sorry they are not given in your book but i have written this down this poem for you all that from the help of this poem you can fill that exercise fine so let us start my dog plays invisible frizz what do you mean by frizz frizz is a kind of a disc disc khelte hai na dog ko agar aap disc fekoge wo kitni tez ki bhag ke jata hai it's a kind of a frisbee He catches invisible ball. He rides an invisible skateboard. He hurdles invisible wall. My dog has perfected the practice of doing invisible tricks. Means the dog has the practice. उसको practice है different different kinds की tricks perform करने की. He jumps with the invisible jump ropes. Fine. And fetches invisible sticks. अगर कोई jump कर रहा है rope लेके रोप की हेल्प से कोई जंप कर रहा है तो वो क्या करता है डॉग जल्दी से जाता है और कोई भी अगर वहां पे कोई स्टिक फेंकता है कोई लकड़ी फेंकता है उसको अपने माउथ से पकड़ के ले आता है नेक्स्ट इज ही बाक्स एज इनविजिबल मेल मैन वॉट डू मीन बाई मेल मैन अ पर्सन हु पोस्ट द लेटर और द मेल ठीक है तो वहां उस पर भी वो भोंकने लग जाता है बाक करता है ही ग्रॉल्स एट इनविजिबल कैट ही विल ब्रिंग मी इनविजिबल स्लीपर्स and even invisible hats he chases chases means picha karna invisible squirrels squirrel hoti hai na gilhariyan whenever we go for a jog jab bhi hum jogging pe jate hain to tree pe dekhte hain ped pe gilhariyan hai to unka picha karne lag jata hai zor zor se he is clearly the greatest dog ever i love my invisible dog and the poet is saying that i love my invisible dog fine so this is the basically the poem and you have to fill this with the help of pencil so what will come over here my dog plays invisible frisbee fine then next is he catches invisible ball he rides an invisible skateboard he rides an invisible skateboard then what will come he hurdles invisible wall he hurdles invisible ball then next is my dog has perfected the practice of doing invisible tricks he jumps with invisible what he jumps with invisible jump ropes and fetches invisible sticks fetches invisible sticks next is he barks at invisible mailbox then after that he growls at invisible cats he will bring me dash and even invisible hats he will bring me invisible slippers and even invisible hats fine 
then it is he dash invisible dash dash go for a jog what happens he chases invisible squirrels when we go for a jog he is clearly the dash he is clearly the greatest dog ever i love my invisible dog simple as that okay so you can do this with the help of this poem next is talk a while next is talk a while you do not have to do this in your english notebook this you can discuss it at your home fine so walk in groups of six just call six friends in your home at your home then talk one student from each group will recite the poem and other students will enact and the another students will do the acting enact decide who recited it best and who enacted it best poem kisne acche se recite ki hai or with actions your teacher will help you to judge the best performance this we cannot do at class because we are not taking classes nowadays so you can search these points in the person who is enacting the poem gestures right mood timing sahi hone chahiye mood of the poem voice modulation and pronunciation bhi theek hona chahiye so these are the points rubrics which should be present in the person's poem when the person is reciting a poem all these rubrics should be present at that time you can judge it yourself fine so this is about talk a while then it is write a while write a while it's very very simple what according to you are the qualities of a good player kya kya qualities hai ek acche player ki some qualities are already mentioned here you see there are three qualities which are already mentioned over here first is determinant sportsmanship team spirits which i have already told you so you what you can write over here hard working fine you can write over perseverance which i told you right now what do you mean by perseverance means efforts to achieve something and what more you can write over here you can write over here uh, uh team oriented means the person should be team oriented or goal oriented fine so you can write the qualities on your own also you can write the qualities on your own fine so this was about write a while and talk about a while the next is your homework now what is your homework the first one is learn and write the question answers the part a and b which i taught you part a and part b which is given on page number 4040 from the book together with essence it is all given in your book together with essence and you can take help from this video lecture also fine so i can show you where the part a and b are look here this is you don't have to do the complete book exercise you just have to do part a and part b right now fine the next you can do it later on this is the part a and this is the part b answer the following question first then it is second then it is third then it is fourth then it is then there are only four questions sorry then after that you have to do the part a also which i taught you in the beginning only the lines are given these this you have to do okay this also and this also these two you have to do it in your english fair notebook fine so that's all for today thank you